Hey guys, a few months ago I shared with you my golden swatches. I got many positive comments under that video, so today I have prepared silver swatches. Keep in mind, silver gradients are made of grey color, so they're really, really hard to print. If you plan on printing those silver colors in general, always do a test print. And actually, the only proven way to print the silver color is the expensive Pantone. So, if you actually use some of those gray gradients, try to mimic like the silver like colors, always test print whatever you're sending this to the printing house or try to print it yourself. Trust me. All right, so here we are. Take a look. I already have prepared 10 different gradients to mimic different shades of silver. To do a gradient, you simply select a shape and then use the gradient tool on it. You can always modify the gradient by clicking this miniature icon at the top that will show you all separate colors so you can customize them even further. All right, if you are happy with my gradients, I will share the whole swatch panel for you. So how can I share that with you and how can you save your gradients in the future? Simply select the shape that's already filled with the gradient you like, head to swatches and create yourself a new palette. I already make one called silver. To make a new palette you can simply click the hamburger menu here and you can add a new palette for this document. So in my silver palette there's nothing in. So I'm going to click this first button here. That will allow me to add the swatch from the selected object. And I got the first one. I will replicate the very same effect for all, so we can have all 10 in one palette. All right, I capture all 10, and now in the future, if there's a new shape, so let's draw a new shape like this double star all right i got a new shape here and i want to fill this new shape with the swatch i can just click on it take a look it's already filled with a gradient if you want go all in special effects you can also add the layer effect to it just keep in mind if you got layer effects on, you cannot export this as the pure SVG. You can click FX and we can add different effects here. So we can make it metallic. We can even add extra glows. We get outer glow. In a glow as well. You can mix this using overlay with the or original gradient. All right, so that's how you can use those silver gradients. I give you 10, but feel free to modify them and then save this modified version in here. So if I grab the first gradient and change it a bit here, you can click on the line to add brand new color. You can modify that. Add one more bright color here, and then we can save this as the new one. So I just click, and now I got 11 gradients saved. All right, so keep that in mind. I will definitely drop a link for you so you can download all of those swatches as the nice palette and use them with your Affinity software. Not only designer, but also photo and publisher. So there'll be a link to my Patreon when you can download this for free, even if you are not a member. All right. Thank you for today. And I will see you in the next video.